This is a series of films that tells the history of contemporary fashion photography as seen through the eyes of models. And are there photographers who you really want to work with that you haven't? Um, Living or dead? Well, there were photographers that I was really excited to work with and they haven't been so excited to work with me. <laughs> That's happened on, on a fair few occasions. It's almost as if by marrying us together, yeah. it's too obvious. Yeah, yeah. And, and it pretty much with one particular mm. legendary photographer fell apart on the mm. set and, mm. and we both I think had a terrible time because of it because I suppose he had felt in some way stifled mm. to to kind of work with something that to him felt too obvious it wasn't necessarily representative of him anymore yeah. it harked back to his past and it wasn't something he could engage in, he wasn't inspired to do. It didn't keep him young and fresh and modern. Yeah. And uh, I actually, uh, I was sort of a bit gutted, you know, mm. as, as, you, as you are. Yeah. But I got it. Yeah. Uh, so what's nice is when I know I really work with somebody well, y you just know and you just feel yeah. it and you trust them. And you actually go too far sometimes in the mm. way that you move and you pose. But better to do that than not unleash at all. Yeah. Because you have to trust one another. There's a relationship there where you can be pulled back. If you're trying to exercise something that's not going to happen, then there's no point being on set. Yeah. Right. And I'm going to show you one more yeah, picture. Yeah, I'm chatting away. <gasps> I have this up on my wall. Do you? Yeah, that's I do. Nice to know. Because I don't want to be disingenuous when I talk about photographers and some of the best images in my life, which is why I haven't really talked about you before, but I have had amazing moments with you in my career yes, too. Yes, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, no, I really have. But it's difficult, isn't it? You get a bit weirded out and a bit bashful when you're with the person. Sure. It's much easier to talk about them rather yeah. than to them about yeah. a moment and how it felt. Um, but you look at this picture. <laughs> And it's chaos, it's rebellion, it's abandonment. Uh, and for me, it was complete liberation. You yeah. know, I, I remember, it's so freeing when you take away the notion of beauty and what that has, means or has the responsibility we have to represent it. Mm -hmm. When I've got gaffer tape on my nipples, I'm wearing a prosthetic nose and <laughs> a pair of tights on my head just as a, a, br a brief physical description. And then there was, there's a piano there. And what is that? It's like a, what am I holding there? Sledgehammer. It's a sledgehammer, of course it's a sledgehammer. <laughs> How else would you break <laughs> up a piano? How else would you smash a piano to spithereens? Um, and I really got immersed in it. I, I wasn't at all shy about, th there's, something, there's something quite ugly about mm. this picture. Mm. And, and, and I really mean that. But, but on the other hand, uh, it's not about the way that I look, it, it, it's an afterthought, it, it, it's just about the rebellion, yeah. the, the moment of unravelling, yeah. but kind of being in charge of that in a very conscious way, yeah. and letting rip, and just this, uh, this notion of being, being, being this sort of very 2D static model was, was all of a sudden shot down completely yeah. when, when we took this photograph because you can't create an image like that you cannot fake it it has to be yeah. completely real I remember you being very excited when I gave you that <laughs> well can you imagine you know in many yeah. many situations you are held up as being quite refined and mm -hmm. controlled and then Nick says get your sledgehammer out I'm gonna ask you to smash up a piano and um I thought, great, that's what I'll do today. What did you do at work today? Smashed up a piano. Great. It was, um, I mean, it was a, a series we we're doing to celebrate five years of John Galliano and, and Dior and, and Couture. And Val, of course. And Val. Lovely Miss Val. And Val Garland, who and, has done uh, a series of interviews. Has of, she? Her, oh, I'd love, I'd yeah, love to listen to Part of the same series. Yep. And Sam yep. on hair. Um, and we'd spent, I think, three days, something like that. I was there for about three days. Maybe it's four actually. Just going through the outfits from yeah. the last five years. And the one that you're wearing has a large key in the back of it. Yes. Which was uh, protruding out my lower back there. But the idea really was to give you something that was seemingly about destruction, but actually was a bit, for me it was a lot about poetry. Yes. Um, a lot about um, uh, the refinement of, of you know, 
breaking down the barriers of, of a mm. whole range of different mm. things. Mm. Um, and I wanted to purposely use symbols like sort of clockwork orange symbol or you know, mm. the whole thing about mm. you know, sort of a, a aggression and violence, but actually to mm. create something very beautiful. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's a real ugly beauty to this image. Yeah because there's nothing polite and contained about it. It is absolutely about the celebration of, of destruction, Yeah. Um, which, which doesn't have to be a negative thing. It can be a very appealing yeah. thing uh, when, you, when you want it to be. I was, there's a, a composer called Stockhausen mm. who apparently would write musical scores about lots of different things, but one of his musical scores involved dropping a piano out of a helicopter which is <laughs> I always thought was incredible yeah and sort of where I wanted to come through with this so this is my tribute to Stockhausen's musical scores. and, and uh, I was very happy to play interpreter but also I remember the dress being very doll-like and stifling and as extraordinary as the detail was the, the, the symbolism behind that outfit was very sort of I don't know there's something quite sinister about a woman yeah. playing a little girl doll yeah and what we did was we completely stripped away that, that notion yeah. of politeness and perfection yeah. and just got really busy. And, and the physicality of the image and you know, even the piano is symbolic, it's the music mm. and the music to life and just, just destroying it. It was, it was a real act of rebellion. And John was on the set yeah. and John was very, um, very keen to have his dress because we you know, yeah. started off on your shoulders and, yeah and, of course and he that's what I mean it's a, essentially it's a really beautiful doll like dress but mm. we uh, <laughs> we got rid of that idea thought it was better yes. as it was um, Erin well, thank you very much thank you thanks for Nick pictures. it was a real pleasure to talk to you but likewise yeah it's good brilliant thank you